Hey guys, we're back with Toyzilla, and this is the panel on Diecast Robocop. So guys, Diecast Robocop, what do you think boys? I wouldn't exactly call it Diecast, okay. but it is. It says Diecast on the box, but it's actually about, I think, 40% Diecast, if 40%. that. Well, I, I heard that it's um, the ankles, the die cast. Yeah. Uh, the just, shoulders. Just hold on for a sec, right? Mm. What's with the mo? <laughs> oh, shit. I'm growing the mo for Movember. <laughs> you got to support the cause, you know? Men's mm -hmm. prostate oh, cancer. Oh, yeah. Support, yeah, right. support, yeah, right. support, support yeah. boys. Support. support. Right, cool. Do you have a website? Uh, Movember.com.au. Uh, you know? <laughs> yeah, we'll look into that, huh? Yeah. yeah, you boys can't grow most, but anyway, it's all good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's how it is. Right. Anyway, um, so get, getting back to it, you know, we've got the die cast um, ankles, yeah. we've got the die cast shoulder, it might be the inner, inner thighs, or the inner thighs as well. well, and it also came with the interchangeable die cast gun. It does have the die cast gun signature. What, what gun. do you mean, as in die cast gun? It's heavy oh, as, a, <laughs> as a mother, or, you know. It's, yeah. yeah, I actually had difficulty putting the die cast gun in. All right, I'm a novice with this figure. I've just started looking at it two minutes ago. Uh -huh. That's actually the uh, plastic one. It's, it was lighter and easier to slot into his hands. Uh -huh. I've heard they're a little bit sort of fiddly. Probably is know. fiddly, but mm. you know, the arm seems like it's pretty strong to be able to hold it up. So I think... No, it holds it up. It's more the hands and the articulation okay. and the fingers. It's not that bad, but you know. Okay, so we, you wouldn't really classify this. I know there was a lot of talk that, um, you know, we were all expecting a solid die cast um, piece, mm. you know, like War Machine and the Iron Man and the other War Machine, mm. I guess or Iron Page or whatever. But um, yeah, I think it's still pretty good. Mm. So yeah. is, there, is there a reason why they say that it's die cast, but it's not a die cast anymore? It's sort of like. 15% or 20% of Yeah, I think that, that's more accurate mm. with the 40% I just mentioned. I think it is about 15, 20. Yeah. Um, not sure why. I don't think, I think they had always said, Hot Toys had always specified that it was die cast elements or mm. ma die cast materials, right. not 100% die cast. Right. You know? But comparing it to the um, Mark 42 Iron yeah. Man, yeah. That's, that's more, that, ha that has more die cast elements on the, oh, the, 100%. the body easy so 100 you would both. assume that they so would have made this in die cast because you know it's pretty much one color you know like but my, i can my, tell well i can tell that looking at the legs there it's, it's just a lot of shape so if you were to create it in mm. the die cast it would be very difficult i guess the price, the price tag would have been it's quite. not streamlined like the uh, mark 42 very yeah. streamlined yeah. so it's, yeah I, I, look, it does. In my opinion, it doesn't affect the figure. I think it's breathtaking. But you know, I'm an '80s kid. We're all '80s kids. Got to love nostalgia growing up. Yeah. I think it it looks like it perfectly. It does. You know, that's <coughs> that's Robocop. Mm. Yeah, you know? I saw I saw some parts of like the battle damage parts of it, right? And yeah. then like they've recently launched uh, a new product, which is Robocop battle damage as well. Not the hot toys, yeah. What's the difference? The with the battle damage, I think the difference is the new one that it will be coming out shortly in several months. That one is the final battle, you know, when he goes all out, he's got no helmet. Uh, it's him against um, Bodica and all of them. Yeah, definitely. Um, but the one, the damage, battle damage parts that come with this one, they are like more when he's fought Ed 209, comes out of the cop mm -hmm. station, that sort of thing, more mild. Ed 209 would really complete this, you know, it would, it would be great mm. to set him up and... As it much would. as people like Ed 209, they don't like it. They him. had QC, QC issues, right? You know, with the it's rubber, the rubber yeah. shield at the Even front. Even the, the stickers, I yeah. mean, the stickers, the labeling on it, the the, mm. the, the voice, that was just wrong. Yeah, well, well, well you don't need to turn on the voice, so it's okay. I wouldn't, but personally, I think this is a standalone piece. It doesn't really need Oh, it's, it's a great Ed 209. Piece. Did you end up putting the batteries in there? Yeah, I think if you press it. Yeah, it doesn't. Um, oh, dead or alive, you're coming with me. That's, <laughs> I think, sorry. Uh, that, <laughs> that's actually, oh, you know, the batteries are supposed to, we don't have extra batteries. I, some guys on OSR were talking about what batteries to use. So guys, what do you think about the helmet? As you can see, this is, this is what I liked about it the most. As they've screwed in the, um, the magnet, so you have a lot of QC issues with um, Thor's helmet and um, some of the other stuff that Hot Toys released. Anyway, they've screwed it in. 
yanking the oh, loose. Oh, you mean the magnets falling off? Yeah. Okay, yeah. the glue. Well, and they'll, they'll solve a lot of problems for our Iron Man's because oh, yeah. always, mm. they always fall off. There's always issues. Definitely. Yeah. I love the mouth. It, it is Peter Weller. I think the whole thing is Robocop. I think it's absolutely amazing. It does yeah. look like him, and it's pretty crazy. You've got to lower it a little bit more. Okay, my bad. My it looks kind of gay like it. that. There, there we go. Ah, there well, is. we can just compare it to... Let's compare it to this beast. Well, this is the old one, right? Yes. So this is the original um, MMS-10. MMS-10. It's an old boy, you know, this one. I think it was released... Oh, 2006? Yeah, probably there about that. Just uh, before Rambo. Yeah, look, for something that initially came out and we were all like blown away by it, you know, skip many years mm. into the future and we've got this beast. Yeah, it's, um, Hot, Toy, Hot Toys hit the nail on the head when they mm. when they decided to make diecast, you know, and it's sky's the limit now. What we're going to get, as we've spoken about before, I'm even thinking in in a crazy world, alien diecast with the black, like I don't know, maybe would be well, which one, like the, a, alien diecast. You never like, know what they're going to release is. anyway. It's just got to be heavier, right? heavier, the shinier, it's like, like maybe it, stronger. No, but if it's going to be heavier, that means that the shipping will cost more. If the yeah. shipping costs. Is, Cost Ship, more, yeah. shipping you won't be able to afford the figure itself. Maybe the shipping yeah. will cost more than the figure itself. I guess with the if US, you want to buy it from like from the US, the, U the USD with the you Australian know, show will bad. kill us. Look, with yeah. regards to like diecast, non diecast figures, I, I don't think, that t especially with these two here, it, there's no, there is no comparison. But it doesn't. I don't think it's a big factor. It's just the mm. detail that goes into everything. I wouldn't care if this weighed as much as a feather. I would still prefer it just from the look of it. It's you know everything, the coloring of it, the, you know the look. It just works. The base lights improved up, right? so much. Yeah, the base lights up, but we don't have batteries. <laughs> yeah, oh, right. first world problems. We yeah. don't have batteries. Tron, Tron, you have Tron, right? Yeah, Kevin I've got the Tron cycle. You, you, does does the does the base light up as well? <clears throat> yeah, well, Kevin um, Flynn. Oh, Kevin right. Flynn. Sorry, my bad. Um, yes, it does. It lights up and it's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. Why does this base light up? That's the thing. It doesn't even have a switch. No, it doesn't. What? So how do you? There's no it switch on? on it. There's no switch on there. So there's no light on it then. No, I don't think so. No, Could no be wrong way. though. We've literally just opened it. So. Yeah, that's true. Look, overall, mm. what do we reckon in the world of Robocop we'd like to see? Personally, mm. you know, I know they've released... The John Kane. <laughs> <laughs> John Kane. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Lewis? I would love to see a Lewis, a Hot Toys Lewis to go with Murphy. You know, we're going to get a normal Murphy. We're going to get a, a battle damage... Robocop with you can see his face. That would be that would be probably the first direction to go. Maybe then a bit of Bodica. Everyone likes Clarence. Oh, you gotta love well, they that. didn't like him. They love to hate him. But no, he was yeah. wicked, man. Honestly, um, Dick Jones. Dick Jones is another one floating around mm. by like Saturday Toys or something. How much was that? Was that? It was like two hundred bucks. Mm. It was very. It's crazy that I actually even thought about releasing that before a Lewis. But anyway. Mm. Um, and with, like with the other Robocops, you know, we've got the Entebay one, the quarter scale, which mm -hmm. is from Robocop 3. Yep. We've got um, the other Robocop 3 um, original, uh, you know, with the jetpack and that. I, I didn't really like that. Yeah, right. Yeah, but the jetpack was awesome, especially when you were a kid back then. Okay. Yeah, you, you, cool. were, you were so excited. Yeah. I was like, wow, there's a jetpack. He can fly. <laughs> Robocop can fly. I know, but no, the movie was walk. terrible, bro. The, yeah, movie, the, was terrible. the movie was terrible. But right? kids, kids sure why, I agree with that. Yeah, That's kid right. wise, it's okay. like, oh my god, he has a jet. <laughs> on his back. I got a jet okay, look, too. I do like it. Maybe mm. I'm just cut because I never could get my hands on it and now it's skyrocketed through the roof. And they'll never do it again. I was lucky enough to pick this baby up a few years back, so. <laughs> you reckon? I'm, I'm, they might do it again since they've already like released this. But this Robocop 3 though, doesn't anybody have the lic license to that now? Who knows? Yeah, well they well they did quarter scales for, for Robocop on Interbay, so mm. that means that maybe mm. Hot the Toys have the one six, yeah, because maybe they cater mm. based on like the sizes as well. It makes sense. Oh, I mean it would yeah. be a good move to do more. I mean it, the, I'm yeah. sure that they, they the pre orders everything these sold mm. out, so Yeah. Did yeah. we forget the the chair? Oh, the, the other, the other one that comes with like the chair and the docking station, whatever. The chair's pretty cool, but I wouldn't pose it with it. I like to keep uh, my figures. I really just... wouldn't spend one hundred fifty dollars extra. Yeah, not to get the same figure with the chair. Would you really, you know? No. I mean, people, Unless you're gonna buy people two buy things. people buy the Hot Toys Godfather for like nine hundred dollars with the chair and not buy the Antebay one. So yeah. mm, good call. Well, that the new Godfather. That's Godfather. 
but the Kid Bash version, <laughs> my friend, 130, you can get the Godfather and just put the pieces together without the box. It's a road I have not travelled. I'm usually a Hot Toys whore. Really? Yeah, but things can change. It can change, my friend, it can. Do you have any Enter Bays? Yeah, I do. My, all my quarter spells. Oh, right, yeah. And the T-1000, the T-800 battle damaged. Um, hmm. Yeah. Do you have any? Yeah. You got the Bruce few. Lee, don't you? No, I don't have the Bruce Lee. I have the... Oh, I don't remember what I have now. I've got the Men in Black. Yep. I love them. Mm. Oh, I yeah, find yeah, Jordan. Yeah. Jordans. Oh, the Jordans. Yeah, I've got Jordan. Jordans. I've got Rodman coming on the way. Thanks to you, brother. And, um, yeah, look, I think Enterbay is pretty spot on with the head sculpts. Mm. You know, even in, with the quarter scale version of this, it was spot on. Um, I don't even know the other guys who played. It was oh, Peter yeah, Weller. that actor, he was yeah, a big great actor. But you know what, that yeah. it did look good. And it actually looked like, and I'm sure 100 people got confused. They thought it was uh, based on Willis sculpt, yeah. even without the helmet. But uh, there was a really good uh, review on the figure with uh, by Nanny D, a good friend of ours. Sir Nanny D. Yeah, I talked about Nanny D. Nanny D. Didn't he? Well, um, if you stay tuned to the end of this, we have a special video from Sir Nanny D, the man, the myth, the legend. He's been knighted by the Queen, Sir yes, Nanny he D. Has. <laughs> he was invited to Playboy Mansion to have fun there with you. He's a bit of a player. Yeah, stay tuned around. Yeah, definitely. Follow mm. the link at the end. Enjoy. Um, so back, let's look at the boxes, boys. This is the original. As compared to the new box? Yeah. So... I like the original. The original's no, more... No, kidding, man. <laughs> hey, you know what? Yeah, there look. is a plus. The original, the reflective cover yeah. is really cool. The reflective cover and you got the... Um... Yeah, it reminds me of the um, Iron Man's. Yeah. Yeah. That's really yeah. cool. I like how they did that. I mean, they took a little bit away when they did with new releases, but... No. I, look, I think when Hot Toys actually started out, they put everything into it. They put their all, and they really hit the nail on the head, you know, with Blade, Leonardo's, mm. you know, all the early stuff. And look at them, how they skyrocketed now. Just yeah. With the likeness, it just blows me away. Mm. It really mm. does, you know, we've got Marty McFly coming up hopefully soon. Doc. Yeah. Doc's just going to be unbelievable. I know. Yeah, but they, they haven't released that yet, right? They they have they have they, I tell you, I'm pretty sure they will. Boys, yeah, when they were they don't. They just start. Um, you're gonna find me in hospital because I'm gonna have a cardiac yeah. arrest and I'll well, be. Well, isn't it's isn't gonna be crazy. Next year, the, the the right time, the machine, when they they travel to the future. Dude, yeah. Over. Oh yeah, yeah, 2015. That's Back to the Future too. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. right. I reckon so they by now, to watch a lot of things then. Oh, man. oh yeah, crazy. By now, so we cool. need hoverboards. By now, we need flying cars. They've hoverboard. created hoverboards, right? Yeah, have you seen the prototype? It was on it was on bronze though on that half pipe. You know. No, 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 no. There's, there's this real one. It was on YouTube. Check it out. Yeah, no, no. I, I saw it. It's, it has like it's really noisy. Yeah, no, no. I saw yeah. that. It was, it was on the half pipe, and yeah. Oh, sorry, guys. Just in case you forgot about uh, this oh. guy right over here. We're talking about hoverboards and flying cars. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. This is Jeez. all about the eighties. We're talking about the eighties. That's right. That's true. We're talking about the eighties. Sorry, kids. But um, also Q that falls. crazy QC issue. Up. The head yeah. comes off very easily with this one. Yeah, so, does too. Yeah. Yeah, that's not. I mean, his neck is a bit. It looks like a bit man, of a giraffe. Can you lift that down, man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not trying to sell this one, no. So overall, what do you guys think? Overall, in a nutshell, what are your thoughts on uh, this new release, Robocop? Thoughts overall? Yeah. It is bloody amazing. You know yeah. what? I reckon if we ask the viewers what they think about what Robocop. Yeah, it'd be good to like, get. It would be good to get everybody's. Um, it's not working. Um, oh, uh, yeah. Um, um, uh, uh, drop your weapons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate. Well, there will be trouble. Uh, keep I your day job, Chan. Yeah, I know that was pretty bad. You can't put me on the spot like that. Uh, right. Look. I'm yeah. Crushing your body. You, I reckon. <laughs> I reckon. I reckon. Just we no, asked the viewers, right? Butt. Ask the viewers, guys. Tell us what you think. Are you going to buy this? You know, because. Sad to say, with the Mark 42, yes, I did buy it, and with the Robocop, yes, I'm going to buy that. In, but you buy anything. Uh, you literally I, will buy everything. Nostalgia is a huge thing for me. You know, More I, so than the look. Mark uh, 42 is just for really for look. It's, you know, yeah. part of pop culture right now. You know, it's contemporary. If you don't art. have it, then you are the loser. Yeah. So, yeah. guys, there you have it. Diecast Robocop. We're showing you the first one, the second one, we can't wait for the next. So remember, subscribe to our channel, tell us your thoughts, what you think about it, 
If you're gonna buy it, if you're not gonna buy it. Matt's got it, I have to get it now. Three, you gonna get it? Hmm, 50-50 at the moment. 50-50. Anyway, stay tuned, check out um, Nini D's special announcement for Toyzilla, and um, thank you for your cooperation. Good night. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> Yo YouTubers and fellow collectors, what's up? Nanny D here, back! But today not with a review, today is a little promotion and announcement about three guys from all the way down under Australia. Yes, motherfuckers, I'm talking about Matt Drago, Derez and Tridu and the three boys are Toyzilla. They founded a new channel on YouTube called Toyzilla and it's all about collectible statues, figures, all scales, anything goes. So watch out for Toyzilla, a lot of fun is coming your way. See you around on the tube. Bye bye.